Clayton Bishop here with High Tech Instruments, Zeiss Business Partner, and I want to go over how to do automatic layer thickness measurements in the Zencore software. So let me share my screen. When you get into the Zencore menu, please select job mode. And then let's go to layer thickness measurements. We will select layer thickness measurement and we will run it. Right here, you can enter information for the form. Uh, the report at the end of this process. So maybe I type in sample one and I'm just going to fill these out arbitrarily. Cool. So we get the point. Next step, you're going to find your image. I have one on here that I wanted to use right here. So you can pick whichever image you want to do this with. It's necessary that you do have calibration data for it so that we can actually take measurements. Important. Okay, and now we are going to begin the layer pre-processing step. So we see that it automatically detects way too much. We need to clean this up. So let's say that I want to measure where I want to measure my, my layers in here. So you can click this box for frame, and now I can draw a frame over the area that I am interested in. So let's just say I wanted to measure the layer of this sample in this portion of the image taken on a Zeiss compound inverted. So I see that I don't have the layers yet selected automatically. It's picked a bunch of the uh, inclusions in the sample itself. So what I need to do is I need to play with this sharpness of edges filter. And if you can get it to the right spot, it'll actually, the software will identify, but you got to find the sweet spot in there. So you see that it's doing a better job and I'm getting closer in here. There we go. Now it has found the edges of my layer that I want to find the mean average of. Great. So you just got to tinker around with the sharpness of edges a slider. That one's important. These all in here, uh, I, I have found do not matter as much, but you can change the ferret ratio, the minimum length of the edge of the layer or the rotation of uh the layer anyway these three don't matter as much as the find edges tool does so once we're happy with the layers it's found click next and we are going to do the measurement step right here so i want to click automatic detection and i want to click in my layer and look it's already shot some information here for me but i can hide that and we see that it has traced what it thinks are points across the layer. And then it will take the minimum and maximum and find an average and tell you the standard deviation. You can choose for the chords to be parallel, how far apart they are. You can also erase or edit some chords. If you have multiple layers, you can control and select them and then you should be able to merge them together right here. But it was able to find the entire layer, as we can see right here. Now I could uh, edit or remove a chord if I didn't want it added, if there's something strange about it. So easy to do, and it's taken a bunch of measurements throughout it. So I can click Next. It will tell me the mean layer thickness, the minimum and the maximum across where it measured the standard deviation, total number of chords it took, the length of the section of the layer. If I press exit loop, it's going to give me the opportunity to print this out as a PDF. And look, here's my report. So I can go through here. I have these stats. I have my original image. I have my edited image. It's very nice. So now we have seen how to do automatic layer thickness. The Zeiss materials package also includes grain size and porosity and cast iron analysis. So please enjoy, please use for your benefit, and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.